How's it going, Dave and Comic Book Investments? So in this video, we're gonna look at five keys that are dropping in price and dropping quite a bit by, I think the top one is like 91%. Yes, uh, yeah, a lot, a lot, but you can only guess. It's most likely a modern book. Uh, but yeah, before I do, we have an auction running right now. The first day is already done. Uh, this is the second day, it's going on right now and it's pretty much almost over. So by the time you see this video, you only have a few hours left to actually participate. If you're participating right now, thank you very much. This has actually been our biggest auction so far and been really, really good. So I'm very, very happy. Uh, so thank you guys, thank you. Also, this is our giveaway book. People have been asking me when we'll announce the giveaway. Um, probably, I don't know if, I guess I could tell people who it's gonna be. I won't give a name or anything like that, like maybe just a, a first name. But if you enter in this giveaway, I think it's still, you can do it right now. Uh, you just go to our website, collectorscomics.com, click enter. That's where our auction is as well, collectorscomics.com. And you know, you're entering the giveaway, we'll actually email you with the email that you have on file with the person that wins. So I guess I can let people know, people wanted to know if, uh, if we're going to let the person know, I guess, I guess I could let people know bill one or whatever the person's name will be. Um, but yeah, so I think there's one le day left. So for the giveaway and obviously the auction because it ends. And then if the person happened to buy a book in our auction, we'll just include it in their package and you'll get the giveaway, uh, going forward. But yeah, so great auction so far. Thank you for everyone's participated. It's fantastic. I'm really excited to do a review, a breakdown of the numbers and stuff like that. Some really, really, really good prices. So very happy. You know, like I said, we zero percent. We're zero percent. Zero percent fees, buyer, seller, all that kind of stuff. So it ends up working out really, really well. Uh, so let's get right into it. Uh, first, we got all all new Marvel now point one. Uh, this is the first appearance of Camilla Khan, who later becomes Miss Marvel. A 9.4 is down 79% from 480 back in 2021 to 100. And then a 9.6 down 84% from 800 to 130. And a 9.8 back in 2021 was peaking. This was early 2021. It was at 2,000. Now selling for 575. It looks like it's back down to the numbers before and it's down 71%. So this looks like it's back down to where it was before the comic boom, before any hype of the Miss Marvel TV show and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, it's dropped like a stone. Now, here's the thing. It's like people, these characters have to resonate. Now, this book, if you went back way back in the day, like I'm talking like 2016 and stuff like that, the book was, you know, $100, $200. Then it, it, then it jumped up to right around the three to $500 mark. And that's where it kind of sat for a while until we got news of this character, you know, being in TV show, movie, the comic book boom, all that kind of stuff. That propped up to a new high. That book was never gonna stay up there because I think I did a video on it a long time ago talking about how, I, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure this had around like 60 something thousand print run. And people are like, oh, that's low. I'm like, mm, no, that's high. And people say, well, you know, comp back in the day would have print runs of hundreds of thousands, if not millions, yes millions uh and i'm not talking like 90s i'm talking about like golden age silver age was probably in the, the high hundreds of thousands depending on the book but most of those got destroyed you're not going to have that many left and the ones you do have left are not going to be all freaking freaking like nine eights and 96s and things like that so when you have a sixty thousand print run of t uh, comic book recently it's gonna be most all gonna be nine eights and nine sixes and most of all survived and they're not going to be, you know, got like thrown away and in a trash heap, burned or whatever, because they did have comic book burnings back in the day. Uh, so yeah, because they thought it was corrupting kids' minds. <laughs> Very interesting stuff. So this book, I just if you look at Marvel superheroes 13, first appearance of Carol Danvers. Carol Danvers much more popular than Camilla Khan. I'm talking about movies comic books, everything. That book went up when the movie came out, whatever it was, 2018, 16. 
um, went up and then dropped our step. Didn't even get a drop from the comic book boom. No one didn't go up one iota and then just continued to go down. And now it's basically not worth very much at all compared to what it was before. And that's because the character didn't resonate. You know, you take something that was in the same series. So that's Marvel Super Heroes 13, Marvel Super Heroes 18, first appearance of Guardians Galaxy. That continues to do much better than it did back in the day because those characters, even though none of those characters are in the movies, kind of are, um, it resonated. So you're taking a huge gamble and basically it went up four times. Is that the type of gamble you want to take? Think about it. If it goes up to like two grand before this movie even comes out or TV show, how high could it possibly go after that? All right. Next, we got Marvel previews number 95. A 9.2 down 75% from 2,000 to about 500. A 9.4 down 75% from 26.50 to 6.75. And a 9.8 down 91% from about 5,600 to now selling for $522. Ouch. $5,600. My goodness. Now that this is a nine six, this is nine nine eight. Uh because it has many recent sales in nine eights. Ouch. So the reason why this got popular, and this happens not often, but I see it happen here and there. Something will come out where it will be someone will find so ultimate follow four. It went from a high hundreds book talking nine, eight to instantly up to like $3,000, like just went sky high. People really jumped on the miles morales train. Fine, whatever. But because it got so expensive, people started looking for other books and other things to that are associated with miles morales to get expensive as well. So this was a preview. So this one technically came out before ultimate fallout four. So you get a preview, which this was Marvel's previews. All this really was, was for comic shops and you could put it out in your comic shop and it just previewed different books that were coming out and they talked about them. They've had these types of books forever where it's more just talks about it. like the black suit Spider-Man. They have previews for that. Turtles, uh, they had preview. Malibu Sun number 13 is a preview of different books coming out and had Spawn 1 in it. And so it technically is a precursor to Spawn so a lot of the times, but if you look at Malibu Sun, that, like that's what you should compare it to. Like a Malibu Sun, I don't know. I don't know these off the top of my head, but I think like a 9.4 is, you know, in the high hundreds, like like probably like six to $900 for like a 9.4, I think, somewhere around there, I'm guessing. So that's where this book should lie, is the same. Um, but it was selling really, really high because what happens is people all of a sudden discover this book, even though it's always around. They discover this book and they're like, look, this is actually technically Miles Morales' first appearance. And even though it's kind of like a more of a catalog type of thing. And so they push that and then it goes sky high because people are like, oh, this book is super rare. Why do they think it's rare? Because before this, this book was worth nothing, literally like nothing. No one considered it worth anything. And now all of a sudden it got this hype saying like, oh, it's worth so much. So then they put it on the market. So then the first couple out of the gate, they sell for a ton because people think it's rare. Then all of a sudden it, people see $6,000. Hey, what do you know? I have a couple, I have a couple, I have a couple, I have a couple. And then it comes out and then people are like, oh, it's not as rare as we thought. And oh, no one really cares because people really want Ultimate Fallout 4. And oh, also because like people get attracted to certain covers. This is not the cover whoops, that people are attracted to. And since, and attracted to, I mean, like they're used to seeing over and over and that's how a cover becomes iconic. You know, they do facsimiles of them, they do cover swipes, homages, all that kind of stuff. And so that cover grows and that's what people see. Um, so for example, Detective Comics 31 with Batman looking over, great cover. Neil Adams did a cover swipe of it, or homage, whatever you want to call it. And that, there's no first appearance really in that book of Batman 227, there's no real first person. It says people love that cover, so they buy that cover. So people get attracted to the covers. This is not that, so it's not going to hold the same as an Ultimate Fault 4, and that's why it's dropping, among other things. 
Next, we got Young Avengers number one. A 9.4 is down 82% for $592. A 9.6 is down 80% from 5.25, or sorry, 7.25 to 1.43. And a 9.8 is down 77 from about 1,600 to 3.65. Man, ooh, ooh. big, big drops, big, big drops. Um, people, for some reason, rightfully so, thought they were going to do Young Avengers because they were introducing certain ones here and there. I think that ship has sailed. I think maybe at one point Marvel probably considered it, but I think Marvel has to go into some retooling, the MCU, and I don't think they will be doing a Young Avengers um, kind of thing. Maybe a Disney Plus show, but maybe like a cartoon or something like that, but I don't think so. I think they have to do some thinking about their path forward because right now it's it's not looking too good so i don't really see the young avengers next we got war war of the realms new agents of atlas a 9.4 is down 56 percent from 90 to 40 a 9.6 down 77 percent from 220 to 49 and a 9.8 is down 8 percent from 355 to 70 uh I really t- couldn't tell you too much about this book other than it was hyped up and then it's slowly been, look at that thing, it's slowly, slowly been going down. And um, yeah, I mean, this vaguely popped up on my radar for a little bit. Um, and I really don't, I looked at it and I was like, I don't see the appeal of this at all. And now it's back down to case cost, roughly. So uh, last is West Coast Avengers 45. A 9.4 is down 80% from 350 to 70. A 9.6 is down 86% from 625 to 90. And a 9.8 is down 84% from 1500 to 236. Mm, down. Wow. Mm. But here's the thing if we went back prior to that massive spike, it wasn't really selling for much to begin with. So it went up. like 10 times, like this book in a 9.8 was literally like $100. It's a cool cover. It's a cover swipe from uh, Avengers 57. And, um, but it has, instead of the red vision, it has, or the red and black, it has, um, or the red and black cover, it has uh, a white vision, which is cool. I I remember this vision. Um, Cool, I like it, interesting, Um, but nonetheless, it. It had some value because of the cover swipe and, you know, the first white vision. But beyond that, I mean, it's just a costume change, technically, like a color palette change of vision. So, I mean, think of Iron Man, how many times he changes his suit or color palette, right? He went from gray to gold to gold and red to it's always changing i don't know he's always changing different colors he had a black suit for a little bit um or was it like a dark blue i remember that was in like the late 80s i think anyways so it's always changing it's like should it warrant fifteen hundred dollars and i understand that the white vision started in wandavision and so that's what got it popular but like this book is from, I don't know what it was, 87? I have to like look at this thing. I don't know what it's from. Uh, I think it's like late 80s. Um, like there's so many of these out there. It, it, 1500 is, is astronomical. I can't, I can't sustain that. So um, costume changes. Anytime there's a costume change, color palette change of a character, um, do not expect that to go to the moon. Could you get a little bump compared to whatever came before this Avengers for West Coast Avengers 44 or West, you know, like within that same time period, 43, whatever. Uh, sure. But it's just, it's not a new character. It's not a first appearance. Like, yeah, I get it, it's white vision. Could it command a little more? Sure. But could it command 10 times what it was going before, before? No. Like, no. If things go up that fast, remember, they're just going to come down just as fast or close to as fast. That'll be it. Check out the auction. Don't forget about that. Have a good day.